Hello YouTubers! As you know, the charge and voltage of the majority of lithium-ion batteries is 4.20 volts, but some cells charge and voltage is 4.45 volts or even 4.40 volts. These cells are called high voltage lithium-ion cells. Today I've got one of them, the Senyo UR18650ZTA. It's rated at 3000 mAh, its charge and voltage is 4.35 volts and its maximum discharge current is 5.8 amps. I'll test it at both 4.20 volts and 4.45 volts scenarios to see what does the higher voltage give. So let's move on. All the tests were done using a special battery tester, the ZK ETEC EBC820, which supports 4 wire measurement, discharge current up to 20 amps, and it can be connected to a PC for building graphs. I've also used version 2.5 of my homemade battery holder. It holds a battery like this or like this. I've followed all the prescriptions of the IEC 61960 standard concerning battery's capacity measurement. The air temperature was 20-25 centigrade and before each discharging cycle a battery was charged at its standard charging current mentioned in its datasheet and after that it was left uh, for one hour minimum. After discharging cycle it also was left for one hour minimum. I've bought these batteries from Queen Battery which is my reliable supplier of genuine batteries. They offer individual approach to each customer and special discounts depending on the quantity you buy. I will leave a link to their website and their email under this video. The cell which I've got has the following marking. Senyo ZUR18650ZTA V18A. Its specs according to its datasheet are rated capacity 2850 mAh at 20 centigrade. Minimum capacity 2900 mAh at 25 centigrade. Typical capacity 3000 mAh at 25 centigrade. Nominal voltage 3.7 volts. Standard charge current 1.45 amps. Charge end voltage 4.45 volts. Charge cutoff current 58 mA. Maximum discharge current 5.8 amps. Discharge cutoff voltage 3 volts. Maximum weight 48 grams. Pay attention to the nominal voltage. Usually the nominal voltage of 4.45 volt cells is 3.8 volts, but in this case in the datasheet it's mentioned as 3.7 volts. The weight of the real cell which I've got is 48.01 grams. I've tested this battery at both 4.35 volts and 4.20 volts to see the difference in capacity and in energy. First let's look at the results at 4.45 volt charge. At 0.2C or 0.58 amps it gave out 2882 mAh or 10.97 Wh. At 2 amps the result was 2794 mAh or 10.20 Wh. At 5 amps, 2686 mAh or 9.23 Wh. Now we'll get the results at 4.20 volt charge. At 0.2C or 0.58 amps, it gave out 2507 mAh or 9417 mWh. At 2 amps, 2425 mAh or 8747 mWh. At 5 amps, 2309 mAh or 78 16 milliwatt hours. Now let's compare the results. At 0.2C discharge rate, in case of charging at 4.20 volts, we will have about 87% of the original capacity or about 86% of original energy. At 2 amp discharge rate, we will have 87 and 86% respectively. And at 5 amp discharge rate, we lose 14% of the capacity and 15% of the energy. So what can I say about this battery? It's not a bad cell, but it didn't impress me. 
its discharge cutoff voltage is rather high and it was interesting to compare the results when charging at 4.45 volts and 4.20 volts. I hope this review was useful for you and if so, like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and look forward for new reviews. Bye bye!